Yes, guys, this digital product of Mid Journey Prompts gets $3,910 a month, guys. And it's only been listed for three months. Guys, Mid Journey Prompts, one of the newest niches out there. And I'm going to show you exactly how to create it and get that fantastic passive income. So, guys, if you do love digital products, how to create digital products and sell digital products, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can get all the videos coming to you for all the latest, newest digital products out there in your feed. So, guys, without further ado, let's check this out. So, look, this digital product, granted, guys, um, gets nearly 4K, $4,000 a month, guys. And this is what it is. Is literally pages of prompts and um, if you didn't know what prompts are prompts are basically a string of keywords that you can put onto the AI software called mid journey and it will produce a visual design for you so in this case you can see that um, this person has put groups of um, mid journey prompts so for example here you can see on my screen 50 plus AI prompts for artists. This one is 50 botanical AI prompts for artists. Um, this one is, and, and they've got so many different types of prompts here. And in total, they just have a bundle of these um, prompts which produce all these different types of designs. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how to produce uh, a prompt. So for example, I'm gonna be looking at my uh, the prompts that I'm going to focus on for today is characters, which is also, this is what they have produced, which is also quite popular. So I'm going to focus on characters, cartoon characters, animated characters, because they are quite popular. But guys, I mean, look, this is, this is just absolutely fantastic. You know, 3,900. And the beautiful thing about Mid Journey prompts right now on Etsy is that it's such a good niche to get into because it's not that popular yet it's not that popular yet guys look i mean if you look at this these are this is me i've typed in mid journey prompts okay the listing age now remember guys i use everbe as my seo software to analyze the products do my research and help rank products um guys don't forget to check out the link in my description for all the software that i use including everbe but guys, it's amazing because ch check this out. Look, the listing age of the one that I just showed you that makes almost $4,000 is like three three months. Now, just look down this list here on my right. And these are all different listings for mid-journey prompt listings on Etsy, right? Look, three, three months, one month, one month. There's so many listings that are new. So it's telling me that they're getting in. This is a new thing. Look. A lot of these are one, two, or three months old, these listings for mid-journey prompts. So it's a new niche to get into, guys. It's a new niche to get into. And look, you know, like if I look, obviously this one is, you know, pretty much the best one out there. That's That gets a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of revenue selling 786, the one that I just showed you. But, you know, look, 1,400, 1,200. 1,800 you know people are making money on this and you know this one uh, this is something that you should really look to and, and try to create and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now so look you know when I've typed in um, you know mid journey prompts you can see that there is a listing of 5,000 results right now on Etsy which is fantastic that means it's a really good number for you to create something and to list and to actually rank on Etsy and look, I mean, what it is, is people are selling, like I just showed you, um, prompts in categories, right? So the one that I just showed you right now is obviously they've got many different categories of prompts. So like you see pop art here, t-shirt design, nursery rhyme, you know, they've got quite a lot of categories. Now you don't have to go that far. You can say create one category and sell that. Obviously, maybe not as much as, as this guy's selling, but you can sell it. And look, you know, all you need to do is create a listing for it. So, for example, you see this one, which is an animal only um, uh, mid journey prompt, which if I just click on it like that, right? Let me just click on it, right? I'll just show you this. So, they're selling this um, mid journey prompt, if you like, which is basically these animated characters, okay? 
instant download animated characters really nice really cute okay and it says they have 50 let me see was it 50 plus 50 around maybe 50 um, professional mid-journey prompt of cute cartoon animals guys which I'm going to show you how to create and all it is is a digital uh, file download right digital file PDF of the prompts which is like a string of words to create these different characters right um, for this one they're sending it for £2.52 simple right simple so this is what we're gonna work on right now now if you jump over to mid journey like I said mid journey is my go-to AI software it's so cool so fantastic love it uh, amazing AI software check it out guys try and sign in you can sign in and then you can get yourself uh, on the discord and then literally set up in a few minutes okay um, but you know if I show you the showcase of the quality of work and I've shown it before the quality of work that it is generated by Midjourney is amazing guys it can produce nearly anything in really high quality so what I would do is I'm jumping onto my discord right now right my discord is where I create all my designs you know using prompts and what I mean by that is you know this is something that I produced earlier before for another video but look you know I was, I was doing virtual zoom backgrounds right virtual backgrounds so what I did here was I typed in the prompt which is the keywords to produce what I've just shown you on screen which is a picture minimalistic clean office in a high-rise building and what it produced for me was this really high quality virtual background right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna try and do something which is like that cute animated character thing right that we just saw because it's quite popular so I thought okay let's do something that's popular on on uh, Etsy that would sell quite well and so what you would do is you'd obviously start with imagine which is uh, the words and I've actually looked at a few different keywords that I want to include so I'm gonna put them in I'm gonna obviously I've got them already saved I put them in so cute is a keyword animated is another keyword baby lion because the characters that I saw were like almost like baby characters let me just see them quickly there's a lot of them here let me just jump on this one yeah so like it could be like a baby frog baby dog you know they look like they're sort of baby um, character types okay uh, let me jump back on on the journey standing up with sports clothes and holding a basketball in a white background <laughs> just kind of added a little bit more to it just to kind of make it a bit cool so that would be the string of words here is the prompt right now, first of all, what I would do is before I actually like um, sell this prompt, which is literally you're selling the keywords. That's all you're doing. You're not actually selling the design. That's what the prompt is. So I just need to just verify that this is what I say it is, right? So I'm, I've just put it in. I've clicked enter on mid journey. Now I want to see what it's going to produce for me because that's what it's going to produce for my uh, for the people that buy it, right? So now, as usual, Mid Journey, it gives you four different types, variations of what you've just put in as your keywords. And look, it's it <laughs> looks amazing. So cute. Look, look, look at this, guys. It's only 62% done. Look, it's, it's actually, it's, the, the quality is getting clearer and clearer. Guys, look at this. Honestly, just, just tell me. Just tell me. Look at this, guys. Look at these. These are four different variations of uh, the cute baby lion oh my god that is so cool i mean the top two are amazing for me i think they're really nice look at these top two guys look at these top two i mean they're all cool but for me i'm gonna upscale that top uh let me see top yeah top one you two right i'm gonna upscale that one the second one that looks amazing look at this wow i mean look you tell me guys isn't it like you know as good a quality as the one that they're selling there isn't it as good a quality as these yeah honestly be honest tell me in the comments below do you think it's good anyways so coming back to this uh, this is just like i've just produced it right and that's all you need to do guys so you actually don't even need to do the design this is not the design this is just showing you that my prompt actually is good it works so all i need to do is this check this out i've already um opened up a word document that's all i've done i've titled it as cute animal collection mid journey prompts i put cute anim animated animal prompts and i've typed in cute baby lion because that's the first one that i'm going to do right cute baby lion now all i need to do is copy 
the prompt that I've just created, right, for the for the design, because I know it works. I've verified it, right? And I'm going to just put it in there, okay? Just put it in there and paste it. Okay. Now I don't need the under. I don't need the line, uh, the line for it. So I'm just going to get rid of the line. I might just make it in red or blue, just so that I can, so that when people buy my PDF, they can distinguish. It can show them that you know it's this is the prompt that they copy. Okay. Just going to make it blue. Yeah. Just make it blue. So that shows them what the prompt is this is the prompt in blue obviously i would need to do instructions just step by step this is we paste this into mid journey but nothing complicated um you know and if i wanted to do another one i mean it's it couldn't be easier guys it couldn't be easier now i know how it works the system i mean in this case you know i'll paste this and what i'll do is i'll put baby elephant in this case right this is the key word because obviously you need to do a few animals obviously um holding a baseball uh base ball baseball can i spell baseball bat right bat right let's check this out now check this out guys Cute animated baby elephant standing up with standing up with sports clothes and holding a baseball bat in a white background. Now that's my prompt, guys. Um, look at this. Let's see what it comes up with. So that will be my second one. Now, obviously, I'm going to create loads of different animal prompts because that's my pack, if you like. That's what I'm selling. That's what I'm trying to kind of sell uh, to the customer. And then what I might do is I might not just stop at animated animals. I might I might actually create other things. So I might do. I don't know skylines i might do famous buildings it could be anything guys uh, wow look at this <laughs> i think the the top left one is probably the one closest to the style of the baby lion one so i'm gonna just i'm gonna upscale this one which is uh i don't need to upscale it really i've seen it right look at this cute but what's it holding doesn't look like a baseball bat is that a baseball bat ah oh, maybe I don't know but you know sometimes you're gonna have to just double check and make sure that works but no that's fine you know let me let me have a look yeah see that's more of a baseball bat that one there yeah that's more of a baseball looking <laughs> I don't know what the other one is <laughs> looks weird anyways but it works the key thing is the the prompt works right so I'm gonna copy that prompt because I know it works and then I'm gonna put it onto my word document because this is where all my prompts are going to be because I'm selling guys you're selling the document you're selling this document which is the word document which I'm going to make into a pdf right and I'll show you how to do that very quickly it's very simple and that's all you got to do there you go now I'm going to do a whole probably a list of say 50 or maybe more cute animated animals and then that's it and then what I'll do is I'll go to file I'll go to export and then I'll create a PDF, okay? Just click create a PDF, and that's it. S save it as mid-journey prompts, animated animals or something, that's it. Create the PDF, and then all you need to do is to go jump onto um, Etsy, right? And as everybody else has done, guys, save it, as you can see here, as a digital PDF file, and that is it. And that is all you need to do to go and sell this and make that simple passive income guys the easiest thing to do in the niche that is actually really like is is it's a good niche to get into right now right because it's still early days and what i like about this and i've said it before is that it hasn't got a lot of competition at the moment you've got 5104 results which is a really good number and something that you can get into right so have a go at this guys um couldn't be simpler. That's all you need to do. And then just upload it on Etsy. So guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget, check out all the links to all the software that I use, including Everbee. Hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, guys, if you like the video. And don't forget to check out my other videos and my playlist. And it shows you all the other really cool niches to get into in digital products. 
and selling that and getting that fantastic passive income, guys. So take care. See you on the next one.